Today, we're going to be looking at the largest trading card vault and auction business in the world, PWCC, and seeing how Automation Solutions has helped bring this company and industry into the modern era with the help of cutting edge technology and masterful engineering. After arriving at the PWCC marketplace to speak with Brent, the founder and president of the marketplace, to learn more about his partnership with Automation Solutions and the pioneering technology they've implemented into his company. Our main company is PWCC Marketplace. We're in the trading card industry and so we're uh, basically a big fancy warehouse for processing trading cards around the world. Uh, we're a marketplace for selling stuff, we're a archival for storing stuff. So much of what we do is starts with imaging the assets and so that's kind of where you guys came in to, to help us with our process. And what the idea was is we wanted a more automated way to take digital images so that uh, an operator, one of my staff, didn't have to just with their hands put it underneath a camera and press a button 800 times a, a second. And we're able with these robots to process things, you know, I would say two to three times faster than a human being can, but they can also run 24 seven uh, to process things, you know, in, in ways that a human being certainly can't do in sustainability. It's a very repetitive process and that usually lends itself to good automation. So what exactly do these machines do and how do they work? First, the operator loads the cased cards into the input turret, capable of storing up to 75 cards per slot, or 600 cards across all 8 slots. When the operator initiates the process, the turret will rotate into position and use a vacuum-powered pneumatic plunger to separate the top card from the stack. Using machine vision, the machine will determine that there is only one card being held, as well as the thickness of the case surrounding the card. If there is more than one card being held, the plunger will return the cards to the turret and alert the operator to separate them. If that's not the case, then the next phase commences. The plunger then hands the card off to a robotic servo-driven gripper, which glides to the center of the machine underneath an ultra-high quality DSLR camera, where it will photograph the front and rear of the card. These photos are sent to the receiving computer in real time where the images can be checked. Afterwards, the gripper hands the card off to the next pneumatic plunger, which gently places the card into the outfeed turret. This whole process takes place in about 7 seconds, and is capable of running continuously for as long as it's needed. Our, our industry, yeah, and a lot of these industries, um, which ours is like a, a hobby at its core, doesn't have a lot of innovation in it. You know, people aren't necessarily looking forward to try to figure out how to, you know, bring the 21st century into into the market. And so this is, you know, these are prototypes that are cutting edge, you know, and so it's, it's, it's we're trying to move, move the needle forward, so to speak. They go back about two years now. Um, I would say that, you know, they've been producing good quality product for us since the very, very beginning. There are elaborate machines. There are very, very complicated systems with lots of moving parts and lots of pieces and stuff so the fact that they're able to run as consistently as they do now is actually quite a quite a thrill. The machine is also equipped with many safety features. A high-tech light curtain runs around the operating window to detect the presence of the operator. If detected, the turret's motor functions will be halted until the operator leaves the window. Sensors on the doors also detect whether or not they are open or closed. If they are open, it will stop all operations until they are closed again. On top of these features, as well as an abundance of other redundancy and safety features, there are manual emergency stop buttons located at the front of the machine. In the practical sense, uh, I think what it's allowed us to do is basically have one operator do the work of five. Uh, and it really enables um, you know, my staff out here to do things that are a little less repetitive, a little, a little bit more like human thought. Um, so it's allowed us to not only just save man hours, but really save brains to do the kind of work that brains are meant to do and not get blown up doing stuff that's very repetitive and you know very assembly line like. I think I think what at the end of the day we're 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 building a product that's very investment minded. Uh, yes it's got its history in uh, hobby, but the the truth is we think this is gonna be a tangible asset that'll compete with fine art.